Ugh. Okay. So, this is day six. And uh, it's the end of day six. Not much has happened. I managed to post a bunch of stuff up on some of those classified websites as far as like stuff that I'm selling, uh, trying to get rid of and everything. Tonight is Tuesday night. Uh, we always used to try, me and the ex used to always try and do one day a week, get together with friends and have coffee. So uh, we hadn't seen our friends in the last couple of weeks and so we kind of settled on actually having them over tonight and not canceling. So that's exactly what we did. They came over and we finally told our first set of friends uh, that we were no longer together. And of course, we did the exact same thing because there, um, there was a point in time where, you know, they were kind of thinking about splitting up and we were like, yeah, could you just not do that at all? And of course, you know, big laughs and all that. And uh, they ended up staying together, so that was awesome. And now they, in in return, they kind of did that to us tonight. It's like, yeah, we'd really prefer you just not do that. You know, if you could just go ahead and, you know, move all your stuff back in. And we need you to be okay with him moving all the stuff back in. And funny, funny times, I guess. So that was the first, first group of friends that we told. And, uh, I mean, overall it went well. I mean, I was a little nervous to tell them at first you know you just you never really know you know what they're going to think what they're going to say but it ended up going pretty good you know, you know nothing like i was expecting it you know like yeah, you, you never really know what your friends are going to do because i mean her and i've been together for eight and a half years and most of the mutual friends that we have now all they've ever known is us together no one wants to see you know people that they've known the entire time you know it's always been like mark and christine you know mark and whoever you know it's just like you know you get used to saying those things and, you know, you don't want to just say, well, you know, just Mark or... So anyway, uh, it actually, I mean, it, like I said, it went, you know, fairly smooth. Like I said, I was very nervous to tell them at first. Because, I mean, you don't want to disappoint people. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, it, they were going to find out sooner or later anyway. So might as well just rip that Band-Aid right off and, and let them know what the, you know, what's actually happening. So... But other than that, uh, it's been raining for the vast majority of the day. Uh, as a matter of fact, it just got done raining a little bit here just a few minutes ago. So, I mean, it's just been off and on rain all day. I should get a break tomorrow from the rain. So, uh, that means that I might be able to get some of the outside stuff done that I've been wanting to get done. Uh, got to clean up uh, my motorcycle, uh, my small truck. I'm going to try and sell both of those. Uh, the trailer, the utility trailer, I'm going to try and sell that. So, I mean, I've just got a lot of outside work to do, a lot of uh, cleanup to get done in order to make all that happen. A lot of stuff has got to go, and I feel like I am barely scratching the surface with all that right now. So, I think I'm actually going to call it a night early. I was going to try and edit some video tonight, but I just don't think I have it in me. And it's only 8.40 in the evening. So I'm just going to maybe kick back, relax, watch a little bit of uh, YouTube and uh, see if I can't drift off to La La Land uh, a little early tonight so that I can get up and um, do my work first thing without having to try and slap myself and wake myself up. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you guys again tomorrow.